Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial and review on the new Annabelle eyeshadow palettes. They have the Smoky Nudes and the Natural Nudes. So I was sent some of these products for review. I purchased one of these palettes. As always, this is my honest opinion, and if you guys have watched me for years, you know that Annabelle is my favorite drugstore company. I think they have amazing products, hypoallergenic, great pigmentation, lasting power, array of neutrals, and also brights, so I've always been a huge fan. So let's get into the tutorial first, and then I'll review these products. I'm going to start off by doing my brows with the Annabelle Universal Taupe Skinny Brow Liner. So this is one of their new shades. I've been using this liner for a few years on and off and it's definitely one of my favorite pencil liners. I would have to say it's my favorite. I find it applies very well. It's got that very thin tip and it is waterproof so it lasts really well. And you get a lot more product than some other brands will give you. So I'm just making small strokes through my brows and I think this color would suit a lot of different hair colors. I like that it has that cool tone and it doesn't make your eyebrows look gray by any means. Now that I have the pencil applied, I'm going to go in the Brow to Go Brow Shaping Kit and I'm going to use the medium shade which is close to my brow color and I'm going to set it with the clear wax. So I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm going to follow the brow shape and I find this gives a nice subtle look uh, as most powders do compared to a gel just helps to fill in any areas where you don't really have as much hair and it helps to blend the outside just to give you a really soft line and then for the front I'm going to use that lighter brown shade which would be great for lighter hair girls. Okay then going into the wax I'm going to cover my brow just to help hold the hairs in place and the color as well even though you can totally use the universal brow liner on its own and that lasts all day. So moving on to the eyes I'm going to use a Maybelline color tattoo in creamy beige so this is a great nude matte cream base and I hadn't decided I was going to do a full Annabelle look uh, until I'd finished my eye but what you could use is the Annabelle smoothie pencils. They have a lot of these and these are waterproof bases so you could definitely apply that all over the lid as a great base as well. Moving into eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this one in the middle, which is a taupe kind of brown, and then go down to this uh, deep chocolate brown. So I'm going to take that on my Sigma E55 brush. I'm going to apply the first brown on three quarters of the eyelid. And you'll see that this is subtle. It's very similar to the base we just put down. And then going into that darker shade, I'm going to start packing it right on the outer corner where I want the most depth to be. And I'm going to change brushes to a blending brush. So I'm going to use the Sigma E25 brush and go in with that dark brown and just start working that up into the crease. And I'm going to go back into that lighter brown and apply that to my crease so that will really help it blend. And then I'll be working in darker shades into the crease. But it's nice to have this already applied and blended and then you can really work on intensifying the color after that. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the Smoky Nudes palette and I'm going to use these two at the end. This dark brown is very similar to the one I just used and I'm going to go into the black as well. So I'm going to go back to that eye shading brush and apply some of this deep brown, which you can see is a little darker, and then grab the black. And this may look like 
quite a lot but once you have your black liner on it this all seems a lot more subtle and I like to have quite a contrast between the light and dark all right so that's it for the eyeshadow now moving on to liner I'm going to take the Annabelle Instaglam eyeliner and mascara touch-up so I really like this it's one of my favorite products so on one end you've got a liquid liner so they have a few different liners from Annabelle. This one has more of a marker felt tip, which it's hard to get the hang of because it is quite big, but it's there's a lot of ink. It goes on really black, uh, so it's worth it if you can get the hang of it. So I'm going to go in and draw my usual liner. Now that I've got my liner on, I'm going to go to the other end of the eyeliner and mascara. I'm going to use the blue shade which I've had this for a long time, but uh, this is one of my favorite blue mascaras. It's quite dry now, so I have to get a new one, but if you are thinking of trying a blue mascara, this uh, is one of my favorite formulas and colors. It's quite bright, and you can definitely build it up. So as you can see from the tutorial, these eyeshadows are very soft, very easy to blend. I think there are some colors that overlap in these palettes or are very similar to each other, but I still think it's worth purchasing both. I think the price tag on these $15 is right around where it should be for such great eyeshadows, and I think these kill it for like a drugstore neutral palette i think they have such great pigmentation they have cool tones and warmer tones so taking a look at the natural nudes you can see that there's more cool tones up top and more warmer tones below the pigmentation is amazing they have a really nice warm taupe shade that i used in the tutorial they have more shimmery shades like this beautiful bronze pigmentation is phenomenal. They have this really great deep uh, taupe kind of brown. They have the warmer brown, the chocolate brown I used in the tutorial, and these are just very very soft and pigmented. You don't have to work hard to get them on your brush. I find that they don't have much fallout at all. They're easy to pick up on whatever brush you use. They're easy to apply. They're easy to work together in a look. Even if you just get the natural nudes, you can do really nice natural neutral looks that are very wearable. You can do a nice bronze shade. They've got some that are a little bit more red toned like these two here. So you could do that, which is great for fall. You could do more of a smoky look, focusing more over here. So this alone could definitely be used in a smoky way. But then when you look at the smoky palette, you have a little bit more depth. So you've got an actual black, a really deep brown. You've got another one of those red kind of shades. You've got more of a blue toned gray. And these are almost all quite satin finish. So they do have some sheen to them. And just once again, like I have nothing bad to say about pigmentation, about picking these up. They're all wonderful eyeshadows. So even the black, they're great pigmentation. So I am a huge fan of these. If you can get your hands on them, if you live in Canada or you can order off their website, I think they are really great compared to some other drugstore Neutral palettes, I think these ones are great. Great for all skin tones, great for all ages. I think they are really, really great. Definitely worth the price. And if you've watched me for a long time, the Annabelle Oat Chocolate Trio has been one of my favorite palettes. I've purchased three of these and the eyeshadows are consistent between their single eyeshadows, trios, and palettes. They all have the same consistency. You're not getting like worse eyeshadows in a palette which sometimes brands will do that so I'm really happy all around with these palettes I would definitely recommend them. So taking a look at the packaging I really like the packaging it's great it's easy to use it's small so they didn't add tons of extra size and packaging uh, I just noticed that there's names as well dark lights and highlights uh, on the back which is cool and if you're looking at the amount of product, these have 9.3 grams and there's 10 eyeshadows. So you're getting almost a gram per eyeshadow, 
which is really good. It's quite generous. So uh, both of these are amazing. They come with a little brush, which is actually pretty good. You can use it. And this one is more of a sponge tip applicator with a cool shape. Uh, the brush is what I would use most, but you can use these any which way you like. So that's my review. Definitely worth a try. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.